All right. Thank you, amen, once again for viewing this telecast, amen, as we continue this series on the Great Tribulation. We're just going over, amen, a few things from Matthew chapter 24 about the second coming of the Lord. All right, you come up, please, continue to read. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed, take heed, that no man deceive you. That no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name. Many shall come in my name. Saying, saying, I am Christ. I am Christ. And shall deceive men. And shall deceive men. And ye shall hear of war. And ye shall hear of war. And rumors of war. And rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things. All these things. Must come to pass. Must come to pass. All these things must come to pass. It's going to happen. Uh, there's no way around it. It's going to happen. You're going to hear of wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Read. But the end is not yet. But the end is not yet. Read. Nation shall rise against nation. Nation will rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famine. Famine. Pestilence. Pestilence. And earthquake. Earthquake. And diverse places. And diverse places. All these are the beginning. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. Yes. Then shall they deliver you up. Then shall they deliver you up. To be afflicted. To be afflicted. And shall kill you. And shall kill you. And ye shall be hated, and ye shall be hated of all nations, of all nations, for my name's sake. For whose name's sake? For Christ's sake. Uh, they're going to be hated by all nations because of the name of Jesus. Jesus told the disciples, the world cannot hate you, but they hate me. Uh, why they hated Jesus? He shed the light on their wrongdoings. That's right. Because if we was of the world, the world would love his own. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right, anyone else? That's the scripture. Because of the light, he did. He was right. What does light do to darkness? Reveal, reveals what you have. What did you just say? It exposes. It exposes. See, when Jesus came, he exposed the religious folks. Mm -hmm. Right. That profess to know the scriptures, to know the law, but they weren't keeping the law. That's right. Know that what? The scribes and Pharisees. That's right. Let me say this. Jesus is not coming back for a bishop preaching. No, sir. He's not coming back for choir members singing. He's not coming back for folks coming to a building. All right. He's only coming back for those that have what? Made themselves ready. So mean, I can preach all day long, but still not be ready. I can be in the choir singing songs and still not ready. Ushering and still not ready. What shows that I'm ready knowing I'm keeping his commandments? It's not those that hear the word, but it's those that keep the word. Uh, those that practice the word. Those that do what the word says. Not just hearers only. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said, be also what? Doers of the word. If you hear the word and don't obey it, what good is hearing the word? Yeah. What good is coming to church and the message is preached and you walk up back and still the same? Is this supposed to change us? Amen. Praise the Lord, bring. And then, and then shall be shall many be offended. Many shall be offended. And shall betray one another. And shall betray one another. And shall hate one another. And shall hate one another. Many false prophets. Many false prophets shall rise. Shall rise. And shall deceive many. And shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound. Lord have mercy. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Folks don't decide to leave the church overnight. They don't decide just to quit all of a sudden. Lucifer was in heaven all the time. But what was found in him? Iniquity was found in his heart. Who found it? God did. Perfect in all 
his way. Oh, hallelujah. Did God know it was there? Amen. Did Lucifer know it was there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Iniquity in our heart sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The more you live in sin, the more carnal you become. Amen. Is that true? Yes. And the Bible says to be carnally minded is life. Yes. No. Y'all not reading the same Bible I'm reading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be carnally minded is death. Mm -hmm. But to be spiritually minded is what? Mm -hmm. Life and peace. Listen to me. Every time we decide to become carnal, we're supporting God's enemy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. The carnal mind is enmity against God. So every we are supporting God's enemy, which is our carnal mind. And to be carnally minded is death. Iniquity. This is where every day the church has to live so, amen, that we live a clean and a sanctified life. Amen. To live a life free and separated from sin because when Jesus comes, Yes. Yes. Uh, 
I mean, we, we need to do that more. Rejoice when you're going through. Yeah. The late Bishop Baby said, if you really want to see me preach, find me when I'm going through something. Mm. Yes. Praise Lord. Some folks can't testify when they're going through something. Oh, come on now, Bishop. Uh, they can't sing a song when they're going through. Can't sit up with uh, no praise to the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, they come in the building and their head hang down. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said, lift up your head. Oh, yeah. uh, all things work together for the Lord. Uh, so whatever is happening to you, if God allow it, it's for your good. good. Amen. So don't murmur. Just say, Lord, I thank you. Mm -hmm. It hurt, Lord, but I thank you. when I'm suffering for Christ. Mm. Man. That's the joy. That's the joy. That's the pastor's joy. When, when folks are going through, you keep praying, keep praying. But when you find that person, it'll leave you. You know who it is. That's right, man. That's right. You, pray. you gotta keep on praying. Because your joy ain't fulfilled. I'm lacking something. Mm -hmm. I'm lacking the suffering. Mm -hmm. We gotta go through with the people of God. Yeah, we have to go through with them. The only way we're going to go through with them, Bishop, is if we love them. That's it. You got to love the people. Is that right? Yes, Amen. Yes. True love. Oh, I mean, you got to love the people. That's right. Unconditional. Yes. When Jesus was on the cross, when he looked down and saw the folks that did him wrong, Father said, Father, forgive them. Shall know. Forgive them. But they don't know what they do. When Judas came to Jesus, he said, You devil, why you came? Mm -hmm. friend, 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 friend. He said, Friend. Uh, can you call somebody your friend that is doing you wrong? In other words, God's purpose got to be fulfilled, and God got to use people to get you to that next level that you need to get to. All right, then. And this gospel, this gospel of the kingdom, of the kingdom, shall be preached, shall be preached in all the world, in all the world, for a witness, for a witness unto all nations, unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So the Lord Jesus is not coming mm -hmm. until the gospel has been preached in all the world. In all the world. So whenever you hear war and rumors of war, and folks, I said, no, we need to hurry up, but the Lord is coming. He's coming. Just relax. Mm -hmm. and you don't know when he's coming. Nobody knows when Jesus is coming. Now, let me show you a scripture. Matthew chapter 24. Of that hour knoweth no man. Right there in 24. Thirty-six. But of that day, but of that day, an hour, an hour, knoweth no man, knoweth no man, no, not the angel, no, not the angel of heaven, of heaven, but my Father only. You see what Jesus said. Jesus said, even I don't know when I'm coming. Mm. Only God knows. God knows. And let me say this. And people should know this. I'm we'll close out in a little bit. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. Oh, Bible. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. The secret things belong to who? And the things that are revealed belong to us and our children that we might do them. So all the secret belong to God. And if God don't reveal it, it's still a secret. God got to do the revealing. That's why I said on Sunday, going to some Bible college, you will not get no revelation going to no Bible college. Because all they're going to teach you is man's wisdom. But the revelation got to come from who? From God. Jesus said flesh and blood have not 
revealed this unto you. But my Lord, but my Father which is in heaven. All right, now we're going to move into the great tribulation. Of, yes, please. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just want to comment on what you said about the word of God. Because mm -hmm. I know that the, the scientists have declared the Bible the only perfect book in the world. And it's been translated in every language. Mm -hmm. So that to me is a testimony about Jesus saying that this gospel shall be preached in mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. and then the kingdom will come. Mm -hmm. and so, you know, the Bible is like big news around the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been declared yeah. the only perfect book around the world. Very true. Very true. So wonderful. Amen. I'm the only book. Uh, the, the Bible is the number one book that is read around the world. Amen. Has the gospel been preached in all the world yet? Not yet. Not yet because we still here. Still here. But when it does happen, then shall the end come. Then shall the end come, and this is where Jesus will come now and take the church where? Out of the earth. Now let's see why we go to heaven. Revelation 19. They go to Revelation 19. Yes. Revelation 19, verse 7 through 9. Uh -huh. Why are we going to heaven? Because some of us sing that song, huh? Oh, we're going to sit by the banks of the river. <laughs> and, and all that stuff, I won't be back, I won't be back. No more, no more, no more. <laughs> sing your song if it makes you feel good, but that's not the Bible. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm sorry to spoil the song, but it's the truth. <laughs> 19 verse 7 through 9. Let us be glad and rejoice. Let us be glad and rejoice. And give honor to him. And give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come. For the marriage of the Lamb. Who's getting married? The Lamb. The lamb. And the Lamb is not God. No, sir. No. Jesus. God was never a Lamb. And when did God was sacrificed? Never. 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 When did God ever die? Never. 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 Can you kill a spirit? No, sir. Never. Oh, hallelujah. So the lamb is getting married. Mm -hmm. And his wife had made herself ready. Who is the bride? Church. The church. Church. When What did Abraham do? Tell him to serve it. Tell him to go back to He told the servant to go back. <laughs> out to my homeland and find me a wife for my son. <laughs> that servant is a type of the Holy Ghost. All right. Isaac is a type of Jesus. All right. And Rebecca is a type of the church. All right, Bishop. And what kind of woman was Rebecca? Somebody just said it. Good. Yeah, good, but that's not the word I want. What type of woman was she? Virtuous. Virtuous, yes, holy, yeah, all that, but I'm looking for the word. Virgin. What did you just say? Virgin. She was a virgin. <laughs> well, I didn't hear it. No, I said virtuous. Virtuous, praise the Lord, but I want the word virgin. She was one that had kept herself. And Paul said, I unto Christ as a what? As a chaste virgin. So the servant went and got Rebecca mm -hmm. and brought Rebecca to who? Isaac. Brought her to Isaac. And while she was on the cattle, mm -hmm. she asked the servant, who is that man in the field? Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. She said, that's him. He said, that's my master. master. Rebecca lied Yes, sir. And who did she went to meet? Isaac. And who is Isaac? Be your husband. Husband and wife. And when the wife came to the man, what did Isaac give to his wife? Took to his tent. What did he do with her? Took her to the tent. Huh? Took her to the tent. Took her to the tent. <laughs> Don't be scared to say that's what he did. Yeah, back then, his parents picked the husband for the wife. 
uh, the wife picked the husband. But the, their parents came together. Mm -hmm. it, it was decided between, it wasn't decided with the couple, but it was decided with the parents. Yes, it was back then, and some countries still do it. Yes, it's still. Praise the Lord, huh? That's right. But I don't believe everybody's bound to that. No. Is that right? No, sir. But your parents may pick somebody that you don't want. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm the one that got to live with them. Right. Oh, glory. All right. All right, Deacon Malone, read. And to her was granted that. She should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. Uh, fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Now, Lord, we got a few minutes, but then we'll continue. The Lord got to come and get the church out of the world. Because God is getting ready to pour out his wrath upon this earth. But the Lord Abraham said, Will you destroy the righteous with the wicked? Will you destroy all the people in Sodom and Gomorrah if there's 50 righteous? The Lord said, No, I'll spare the city. But was there one that was righteous in the city? Was there one that was righteous in the city? Yes, Lord was. Then we're going to have Deacon Lawrence, amen, to get us 
First Timothy chapter number four. Yes, verse one through three. Paul is Sylvanus and Timothy unto the church of the Thessalonians and God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are bound to thank God always for you. Brethren, as it is me, because that our faith, your faith, groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth. Are you in 2 Thessalonians chapter number 2? No, we one. No, chapter 2. We I'm want chapter 2. All right. That's all. Right. Now we beseech you, brother. Now we beseech you, brethren. By the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So now, before Jesus come and get the church, there will be a great falling away. A great falling away. Apostasy. Mm -hmm. Rejecting truth. Mm. Turning their ears away from the truth. That's right, Bishop. There's going to be a great falling away. Mm -hmm. How many is going to fall away? I don't know. But the Bible said, the Lord knows them that are what? That are his. The Lord knows how many folks is going to heaven. Amen. That's right. That's right. Already Pastors don't know how many folks are going to heaven. No, sir. That's right. <clears throat> That's right, sir. We don't know how many folks is going to heaven, but the Lord knows. Lord knows. That's right. Because I don't know the heart of everybody here tonight, but the Lord said, I, the Lord, I search the heart. It's not for the pastor, but my job to search your heart. No, sir. The Lord said, I, the Lord, I search your heart. So there will be a one, a great falling away. And the reason why there's going to be a great falling away, listen to what Paul said now in 1 Timothy chapter number 4. Mm -hmm. Neither give heed to fables. And 1 Timothy chapter number 4, verse 1. Chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh, excuse me. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Not everybody's going to leave. Some. Some. Uh -huh. Some got to depart. And some will depart. From the what? From the faith. See, you can't depart from this building if you never came in. Mm. Mm. Rochester is going back to Rochester because they came in this building. Right. I'm going back to my house because I came in this building. Nobody can depart from the faith if they were never in the faith. That's right. So there are people that was in the faith, but they have departed right. from the faith. And you can't depart from the faith to another faith. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Right. You can't depart from the faith if Jesus is in this physically, you can't go to another building expecting Jesus to be there when he's only here. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, hallelujah. They're going to depart from the faith. How many have we seen depart from the faith? Many. many. You know how many as soon as a pastor died? Mm. Mm. Scattered. You can't have pastor salvation. You must know why you say I'm saved because I love the Lord. Amen. He delivered me from sin. Oh, he 
In Noah days, church, got the hell problem. The ark was a type of the church, wasn't it? Amen. Do you think it was smelling good in that ark? Sure. With all them animals? No. Mm -hmm. Now, which part of it do you feel like you would choose? Being outside? Mm -hmm. Or being inside, putting up with all that smell? Inside. Inside. The smell ain't gonna kill me! But it's what's happening on the outside. The flood is on the outside. All right. So I can put up with all of this mess because I know one day the water will resent. You understand? Mm -hmm. Receive. That's yes. right. So you got to put up with some things. Oh, hallelujah, man. no perfect church. No perfect church. But it's good to be on the inside. Mm -hmm. For the problem, mm. pray the Lord. <laughs> Those that was on the outside, when the water began to rise, mm. then they realized, Lord, I should have been on the inside. On in, on in. But some of them that have departed from the faith, they ain't coming back. Teacher, Bishop. I didn't say everybody. I said some of them ain't gonna make it back. Amen. Right. But some will make it back. And how many is coming back? I don't know. And it's not my business. It's up to God. Praise the Lord. And if God sends them back, Amen. it's my job to open up my arms with love and welcome them back. Amen. Amen. Uh, with no lies still in my heart. Amen. No unforgiveness in my heart. Even if they did me wrong and they come back, I still got to forgive them. Still have to love them. Still have to treat them right. Because that's Hallelujah. Receive them with love. Amen. You know God forgive us only because of Jesus? Right. You want to hold on to unforgiveness and don't forgive them? Oh, I remember what they did to me 50 years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, you hold on to that and see which heaven you going. <laughs> huh? I want to forgive quick. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Because he can come tonight. Mm -hmm. That's right. He can come right now. Mm -hmm. They call me right now. He knew what was going to happen that morning. He would get in that helicopter. You think he would? No, sir. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Well, listen, we, we got time to hold on to this and that. And it is a time to guard up the laws of your mind and be sober. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now put on the breastplate of righteousness, the breastplate of faith, and live in love. Man. Because love, you understand, is the fulfillment of the law. The man said, Jesus, what is the greatest command? If you ain't treating your neighbor right, you don't know what love is all about. Thank you, Jesus. They will depart from the faith. Why? Read. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. And doctrines of devils. You see why some folks leave the body of Christ? They give heed to seducing spirits. They listen to folks they ain't got no business listening to. Somebody that is corrupt and you stray, you keep listening to them. After a while, you will stop being straight and you become corrupt. Yes. Birds of a feather flock together. Amen. And people that ain't going nowhere want to take you with them. Why go nowhere, no place with somebody? Will? Listen, if you ain't going nowhere, don't expect me to go with you. That's right. I often say, if I don't know nothing, I teach you what I know. What have you learned? Nothing. And nothing plus nothing equal what? Nothing. Praise the Lord. Don't follow nobody, you understand, that don't have no intention of going to heaven. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you want to go to heaven, we have something in common. But if you don't want to go to heaven, why should I have something in common with you? I love you. I treat you right. But my eyes, I'm looking to the one. That's right. That's right. I'm marking the perfect man. Yeah. Behold the upright, yes. for the end of that man is for his feet. Love your husband, love your wife, love your children, but remember your goal is to make go to heaven. Yes. 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 Yes.
That's right. Save yourself. Then depart from the faith given to eat to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Man. See, the Lord got his doctrine and Satan got his doctrine. Yes, okay. It's sad, folks, that used to be a part of the truth. Mm. They go away and start believing something else different from what they were taught. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. What done happened to them? They done got deceived. Yeah. Mm. Some spirit done seduced them. And when somebody seduces you, they get control of you. Is that right? Yes. If you want to control somebody, control their mind. Amen. If you control their mind, you have them. Yeah. That's why the Bible said, let this mind be in you, which was also weird. Amen. If you have the mind of Christ, can nobody deceive you. Amen. None. Uh -huh. no. Come on here. And when somebody don't tell you something, Jesus said what? Search the scriptures. Yes. Right. See, see. For in them you think you have life, but it's they that what? The see, the problem with folks, they believe everything and don't want to search the Bible. For themselves. Right. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right, finish up. Come on. Amen. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. You see why they, they the way they are, their conscience is seared with a hot iron, and they speak lies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They lie on the church, lie on the people in the church. But you don't have to answer to no lie; just keep doing right. Mm -hmm. right. Uh, shall not the judge of the earth do that which is right? Mm -hmm. And no matter how much what they say about you, Job said, my record is on high. If your record is on high, don't worry about the folks down here. Amen. Amen. Because God got the last say, is that right? Amen. Amen. You want the right and do right? Heaven belongs to you. God be for Read. Forbidden to marry. Forbidden to marry. And to commanding to the abstain from meat, which God had created to receive with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused. Is that what the book said? Every creature is good? Yeah. That means every animal is good. good. So like I said on Sunday, those that don't want to eat pork, that's fine. I will. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. But if I know it's going to offend uh, Bishop Phillips, I'm not going to eat it in front of him. All right. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Don't wait him. Uh, because I, said, I love him so much because I want him to stay strong in the Lord. But what I'll do when I go home, I'll eat my pork. Yes. And it doesn't offend him. Yes. But if he's offended by him, the Bible said, don't do it. Because your brother or sister might be in a weak, weak state of mind. And if you make your brother or sister to sin, God holds you accountable. Amen. Mm -hmm. Read. And nothing to be refused. Nothing to be refused. If it be received with thanksgiving. If it be received with thanksgiving. All right, let's close out now in 2 Timothy chapter 4. Tomorrow we get into the, as Jesus told us, launch out into the deep. Mm -hmm. If it's the Lord's will. 2 Timothy chapter number 4, verse 1. I charge thee. I charge thee. Therefore, before God. Therefore, before God. And the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall judge the quick. Who shall judge the quick. Those are baptized in Jesus' name. Filled with the Holy Ghost. And the dead. And the dead. Those that never received the Holy Ghost. No baptism in Jesus' name. They're dead. At his appearance. Father, Son, the Holy Ghost ain't no baptism. There's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Acts 4 and 12. No other name given on the heaven whereby we must be saved. Yes, Lord. There's only one name to be saved, and that name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe on him would not perish. Yeah. You don't have to accept Jesus, you will perish. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. Your Hallelujah.
come on, deep listen. And his appearance. And his appearance. And his kingdom. And his kingdom. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant. Yes, Lord. Preach. Preach. Preach the word. Tell me a lot. The word. Mm -hmm. Ring. Be instant. Be instant. In season. In season. Out of season. Out of season. Reprove. Reprove. Review. Review. Exhort. Exhort. With all long suffering and doctrine. I got to say this. Mm -hmm. What we just read is not for everybody to do. Amen. All right, we I have to make that clear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that right? Amen. 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 There's things pastors can't do that nobody else can do. Mm -hmm. Is that true? That's Amen. true. Amen. In your house, there's things only daddy can do. Mm -hmm. And who else can do it? But all of us can preach the word in our own way. Mm -hmm. You don't need the pulpit to understand to preach God's word. Yes, sir. You can be a witness. Amen. You can go out to witness to somebody concerning the word. Yes. Amen. But there are some things that's only for the pastor to do. That's right. Amen. Reprove, rebuke. This is what I want to get to. For the time will come. And the time has come. Yeah. When they will not endure sound doctrine. It's not that they're not listening to it, but they're not enduring. They don't endure, it's right. Praise the Lord. They hear it, but they won't do it. Sound doctrine. I mean sound words. To make us think, Lord, I need to clean myself up. I need to get right. I need to do it like the Bible said. I don't want to be a hearer of the word only, but I want to be a doer of the word. Amen. Preach the word. Amen. And when you preach the word, you don't preach with your intelligent mind. Mm. We preach this gospel going to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Down from heaven. Praise the Lord. I don't need a doctor degree from Cornell to preach. No, sir. Oh, hallelujah. Thank Holy you, Ghost. Lord. The Holy Ghost is the preacher. Is that right? Amen. The Holy Ghost is the teacher. Amen. If the Holy Ghost didn't preach, all I did was waste my time. Yes. Hallelujah. If the Holy Ghost don't teach, we waste our time up here. Amen. The preacher and he is the teacher. Amen. And if you want something to be revealed, ask the Holy Ghost. Because yes. he's the only one that can reveal it to you. If the Holy Ghost don't reveal it to you, you don't have it. Amen. Read. But after their own lust, after their own lust, shall they heap to themselves. They heap to themselves. Teachers. Teachers. Have an engineer. Have an engineer. And they shall turn away. They're gonna do what? Turn away. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. How many used to be a part of us and don't turn away? Turn away. Turn away. Their ears from the truth. What did they do? Turn, turn away. away their ears from the truth. When you turn your ears from the truth, mm -hmm. you only turn it into one other person. The devil. The devil. That's right. Praise the Lord. Turn your ears from the truth. Be turned unto fable. You see what they don't turn to? Stuff that is not even true. Mm -hmm. Man's religion. Mm -hmm. Man's doing what they turn away from the book. Turned away from the book, mm -hmm. from the truth. Praise the Lord. Perfect. And they turn to fables. Mm -hmm. Something that is not even true. Mm -hmm. I thank God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. For our forefathers mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. that labor with us yes. and, and put the word down in us. And Thank the Lord. And. But I'm not here just because of our forefathers. Mm -hmm. I'm here because I'm striving to obey what they taught. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have enough to help of God. We continue unto this day, uh, witnessing both the small and great, 
saying none other than what the prophets said that she'll come. Praise the Lord. Amen. You got to stick with what the prophets have said. She'll come. If I preach anything that is different from what the prophet said that should come, I have become a deceiver. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. They don't turn their ears from the truth and committed apostasy. Tomorrow, if it's the Lord's will, we get them ready to launch out a little deeper. Praise the Lord. Because my mind is stirred up six months ago. Mm. I've been sitting and dwelling on it for six months, you all. <laughs> but you can't deliver the baby until it's time for the baby to come. If it's the Lord's will, we got much more to get into tomorrow night. With the help of the Lord, and the Lord keep us alive. Amen. And bless us with favorable weather. Tomorrow night, we're going into deep water. And you can only survive in deep water with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there were many scriptures that I did not understand for years. For years. You know, some things you read in the Bible, especially Revelation, Ezekiel, and Daniel. It ain't too many people bothered with Revelation. <laughs> preachers been preaching for years. They have very sudden teach out of Revelation. The key is the Holy Ghost got to help you. Those are some books that the Holy Ghost will navigate you through. That's right. You're all alone. But I thank God. And I'm humble. I don't profess to know it all. But I thank God that you have blessed me to understand this book much more with clarity. And come tomorrow night, we go into deep waters, and I'm waiting on the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Don't, don't go without me.